individual could come here and impress people by saying this demonstrates the semi-divinity of our king and his power. The algorithm ran for 372 hours straight. Its goal, decipher 62 ancient symbols on a serpentine stone block. This was the Cascajal block, the first writing of the ancient Olmecs and a total enigma. Suddenly the AI spit out a translation, but the message wasn't what anyone expected. It's a terrifying account from 3,000 years ago detailing a desperate act performed by the so-called mother culture of Mesoamerica. I was standing before this great pyramid, I understood nothing. I took every possible literature from uh, Central American archaeologists to learn what's this all about. The recent AI interpretation of this mysterious script is sending shockwaves through archaeology because it reveals a secret they tried to bury forever. A 3,000 year old secret. For nearly 3,000 years it remained silent discovered by road builders in a gravel pit near the ancient Olmec heartland of Veracruz, Mexico, the Cascajal block was an object that defied explanation. It's a modest slab of serpentine rock weighing about 26 pounds and no bigger than a modern legal pad. But etched onto its surface are 62 distinct glyphs. Insects, corn cobs, thrones, and symbols so abstract they look like something from a dream. Scientists quickly dated it to around 900 BC, making it the oldest known writing in the entire Western Hemisphere. The problem? No one on Earth could read it. The things nobody tells you is that for every Rosetta Stone we find, there are a dozen texts like this, completely isolated with no parallel script to help us crack the code. It was a true dead language. Many people are crazy about ancient mysteries, and this was one of the biggest. Was it a list of kings, a sacred hymn, a market tally? Top minds in archaeology and linguistics tried for years, but the 62 symbols refused to give up their secrets. Some critics even dismissed the block as a fake, a clever modern forgery designed to fool the experts. And there is a good reason for that. The symbols were unlike any other Mesoamerican writing system, like Mayan or Aztec. They were laid out in horizontal rows, not vertical columns, and some symbols were repeated in strange, poetic-looking patterns. It was an artifact that created more questions than answers. It sat in a museum, a silent testament to a world we could see in giant stone heads and pyramid mounds but could no longer hear. That all changed when a team of computational linguists and archaeologists decided to try something new. They fed high-resolution, three-dimensional scans of the Cascajal block into a new generation pattern recognition AI. This wasn't like a simple translation program. You see, this AI was designed to think like a cryptographer identifying patterns, frequencies, and relationships between symbols without any prior knowledge of the language. For hundreds of hours, it processed the data, cross-referencing the 62 glyphs, noting their positions, their pairings, and their repetitions. The researchers were hoping for a small breakthrough, maybe the identification of a single word, like a king's name or a god. What they got instead was a key that unlocked the entire horrifying message. The AI began by identifying a recurring symbol cluster as a marker for a date or a specific event. From there, it started to build a grammatical structure. The thing is, it wasn't translating words, it was translating concepts. And the concepts were chilling. The first comprehensible phrase the AI pieced together read something like, a tribute for the sky mouth. It was a stunning breakthrough, but as the full translation began to take shape, the researchers' excitement turned to unease. This was no king list. It was a set of instructions. It described a specific ritual, a desperate plea to a powerful and seemingly hungry entity. The text detailed a sequence of events, a recipe for a ceremony so dark it was seemingly wiped from every other record of the Olmec. The silent stone was finally speaking and its first words were a nightmare. 
The AI had revealed a ritual, but what exactly did this tribute to a sky mouth demand? Gods, jaguars, and a dark tribute. The Olmecs have always been called the Cultura Madre, or the mother culture of Mesoamerica. Flourishing between 1500 and 400 BC, they laid the groundwork for civilizations like the Maya and the Aztecs. They built the first major cities in the region like San Lorenzo and Leventa, complete with massive earthen pyramids. And of course, they carved the famous colossal heads, stone portraits of their rulers, some weighing over 40 tons and standing nine feet tall. These stoic, powerful faces have long been the symbol of the Olmecs, a sophisticated, organized, and deeply spiritual people. Many people are crazy about their art, especially the were-jaguar motif. A supernatural being, part human and part jaguar, believed to be a central deity. But not all things are what they seem. The AI's translation of the Cascasial block adds a terrifying new layer to the spiritual world. According to the AI's interpretation, the block is a sacred text detailing a ritual of last resort. The sky mouth it mentions appears to be a name for a celestial god, possibly a representation of a solar eclipse or a devastating storm. The Olmecs believe their rulers were shamans, powerful intermediaries between the natural and supernatural worlds. Their job was to maintain balance but the text suggests that this balance had been shattered. The glyphs describe a period of prolonged drought and famine. The corn, represented by a recurring cob symbol, was failing. The jaguar, their most powerful spiritual animal, was hiding, suggesting a loss of divine favor. The rulers, the text implies, were failing their people. They needed to do something drastic to appease the angry sky mouth and restore cosmic order. It's funny when you think about it, we often imagine ancient rituals as chanting and dancing. The text describes something far more methodical and grim. The instructions called for the selection of three individuals, marked by specific glyphs that the AI cross-referenced with symbols of lineage and power. It seems these weren't captives or commoners, they were nobility. The text describes a public ceremony at the base of a great mound where these three chosen people would perform a final dance before becoming the tribute. The block details the ceremonial items needed, jade ornaments, obsidian blades, and a throne, a symbol that appears repeatedly on the stone. The purpose was clear, a powerful offering of their own elite blood to feed the hungry god and bring back the rain. This wasn't a show of power, it was an act of ultimate desperation. The thing that nobody tells you is that while many Mesoamerican cultures practiced human offerings, this text suggests a unique and disturbing precedent set by the Olmecs, targeting their own rulers in a time of crisis. This changes our entire perception of those colossal heads. Were they just portraits of rulers? Or were they memorials to leaders who had to make this ultimate tribute? The AI's translation forces us to look at the Olmec world with new eyes. Their society wasn't just built on corn and trade, it was balanced on a razor's edge of ritual and a terrifying pact with the cosmic forces they believe controlled their world. The Cascajal block, if the AI is correct, is the only surviving proof of that pact. But why was this single stone the only record of such a world-changing event? Why they hid the truth. So if this ritual was so important, why isn't it mentioned anywhere else? There are no other carvings, no murals, no other texts that even hint at such a practice. This is the question that truly baffled the researchers. And there is a good reason for that. An empire broadcasting its moment of greatest weakness is not a good look. The AI's analysis of the text structure provided a possible answer. The language used is formulaic and repetitive, almost like a legal document or a sacred vow meant to be read aloud. But the stone itself shows signs of being deliberately erased and recarved in places. 
suggesting the message was edited before it was finalized. The researchers now believe the Cascajo block wasn't a public monument. It was an internal record, a secret archive for the shaman kings. You see, the message may have had two purposes. First, to serve as a how-to guide for future rulers should such a catastrophe ever happen again. Second, and more importantly, to serve as a justification for an act that may have fractured Olmec society. Imagine the fallout from having to offer up members of the royal family. It could have led to civil unrest, a crisis of faith, or even a full-blown civil war. The stone was a record of necessity, documenting that the rulers had no other choice. It was proof that they had followed the sacred rules to save their people. By carving it in stone, they made it a permanent, unchangeable historical fact for the ruling class, while keeping the grim details hidden from the general population. The thing is, the story might not have had a happy ending. The Olmec civilization began to decline around 400 BC. The great centers like Leventa were abandoned, their monuments defaced and buried. For decades, historians have blamed this collapse on a combination of factors, climate change, volcanic eruptions, or shifting river courses that disrupted their agriculture. But the Cascajal block offers a darker, more direct possibility. What if the great offering didn't work? What if the rulers gave their own to the sky mouth and the rain still didn't come? The faith of the people in their shaman kings would have been shattered. The very foundation of their society would have crumbled, not from outside forces, but from a profound internal failure. The collapse of the Olmecs might not have been a slow decline, but a rapid implosion of belief. This small 26-pound stone, then, is more than a story of a ritual. It's potentially the final chapter of the Olmecs. It's the record of the moment they gambled everything to save themselves and lost. The reason it's the only record is that it was a story of their greatest failure, a secret they buried as their world fell apart around them. The block was hidden away, a time capsule of their darkest hour, waiting 3,000 years for a non-human mind to finally read its warning. This AI interpretation opens a door, but does it lead to the truth or just more questions? When the past disturbs the present. So what does this all mean for us right now? The thing is, this is more than just a spooky story about an ancient culture. The interpretation of the Cascadial block via artificial intelligence represents a turning point in how we understand history itself. For centuries, archaeology has been a slow, painstaking process of piecing together fragments. Now we have a tool that can see patterns and languages that the human mind has missed for generations. But this new power comes with some seriously uncomfortable questions. This AI is not a conscious being, it's a probability engine. It has presented a translation that is internally consistent and fits many of the known facts about the Olmecs. But is it the absolute truth? Or is it just the most plausible story woven from the available data? Let's talk to the average Joe for a second, the person just fascinated by a good mystery. Does something like this happen overnight? Do we just accept that an AI has rewritten the history books? The answer is no. This interpretation is, for now, a powerful and deeply unsettling theory. It will be debated by scholars for years to come. Other experts will use other AIs to try and confirm or deny these findings. But it has kicked open a door. We have to consider the possibility that the ancient world was a much scarier, more desperate, and more brutal place than we like to imagine. We see grand pyramids and beautiful art, but we don't see the fear that may have built them. The fear of a harvest failing, the fear of the gods turning their backs, the fear of having to make an impossible choice. Are we missing a key detail? Perhaps. The Cascajal block is still a single piece of evidence. Without more text to cross-reference, it remains an outlier. But it's an outlier that, thanks to AI, now has a voice, 
And that voice tells the story of a sophisticated society pushed to the absolute brink. It's a story that feels strangely relevant today in a world facing its own looming crises. Do you think the AI is right? Or is there another explanation for the symbols? What other ancient mysteries should we turn our AI detectives loose on? Let us know below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more secrets from the ancient world.